How about this question? Could human heart transplants one day be a thing of the past? Replaced instead by a mechanical device. Sherman Chow reports from the Texas Medical Center on what could be a medical game changer, Sherman. Yeah, we are here at the Texas Heart Institute and behind me, a little reception underway by the scientists and doctors celebrating today's big announcement made in part with Baylor St. Luke's and Bivacor, the medical device company. The announcement, of course, that a human patient had successfully been implanted with this new device and the hope is that one day it will replace the need for human heart transplants. In 1969, famed Houston heart surgeon Dr. Denton Cooley implanted the first artificial heart here at the Texas Heart Institute. 55 years later, Bivacor has developed an artificial heart, replacing hundreds of moving parts, suffering wear and tear with one frictionless moving part. Uh, the heart of the heart is this spinning disc that sits inside a magnetic field, so that means the device should really never really wear out so long as it's getting power. Current mechanical hearts average 90 days, with one outlier lasting seven years inside a patient. The devices are used as stop gaps. An estimated 250,000 Americans wait for some 6,000 donor hearts each year. But I ended up doing more heart transplants than anyone in the world. And, and that taught me that they're temporary, you know, when the patients start dying after five years, 10 years. There, there's, uh, you've, we've got to do something better. Bivacor says their device draws less power than its predecessors and could one day operate using small batteries implanted under the skin. So the patient would be wireless rather than have to carry a backpack. Perhaps someday this will be instead of a transplant because it's small, it's energy efficient, and it should never wear out. The next step is a special FDA trial with five human patients followed by larger trials until perhaps. If you were guessing, I would say probably commercially could be available if everything went well in the next five years, potentially. That end-stage heart patient who received the Vivacore device was bridged on it for eight days until a human heart could be found. That human heart transplant was also successful, and that patient is now recovering here at the hospital and yesterday celebrated his 58th birthday. Guys? So very promising for all of our potential heart transplant patients out there. Amazing. Sherman Chow, thank you. So fascinating, the technology, particularly here in Houston at the Texas Medical Center. We're at the center of it. Great story.